You've been looking through this report, and what are we learning? Well, we're learning a number of things, and you say, you know, Toyota Highlander, the most stolen vehicle across Canada in 2023. And, you know, that is an important marker to look at that. It has always been on the list, moved up that mm -hmm. list. But let's look at the list, because when we talk about most stolen vehicle, I sometimes think that that is a bit misleading. Most stolen is the actual numerical number. So you see... Toyota RAV4s, Honda CRVs, uh, Honda Civics on that list. Here's the Dodge Rams as well. The thing with it is, every one of those models, there's half a million of those cars on the road in Canada, each one of them. Mm. So if you put a net into a goldfish pond, you're going to pull up goldfish more likely than anything else in there. That's what's going on with the most stolen. I like to look at the most frequently stolen. Let's look at that board right now. It gives you a sense of some of the numbers out there. So most stolen by frequency, Land Rover, Range Rover, Land Rover Defender, Lexus RX series. I keep going down the list. I'm looking at Cadillac, Escalade, Jeep Gladiator, and then I get to the the Toyota Highlander for the most stolen. Look in the right-hand column. That gives you a sense of the, the frequency. So if I look at all of the Land Rover Range Rovers that existed in the year 2023 on the roads in Canada, more than one in 25 of them got stolen. When you see that 4.23%, wow. that gives you a sense of it. If I look at, um, you know, just in Ontario, break down those numbers even more, at, uh, Ontario very much the epicenter of a lot of this. You know, that Land Rover, you're talking about one in 14 of them gets stolen. So 6.84, it's nearly one in 14 of all the cars registered in Ontario of that make and model got stolen just in one year. So you get a sense that there absolutely are more targeted vehicles don't get blinded when you hear about some of the most stolen because mm -hmm. there's more of them to steal look at the actual risk factors of the specific vehicles okay and it's those high-end vehicles often that we're seeing Very at the often, top yeah. of that list no surprise there and we know that authorities have been really trying to crack down on this for the last couple of years specifically and there's been some progress, especially in Ontario. There certainly has been. We see the numbers in Ontario and Quebec going down nationally. We know that uh, some of that is taking place in Western Canada as well. Lower decreases, but they had less of a problem. Really, Ontario and Quebec, big problems. Atlantic Canada, the Maritimes in particular, are seeing an uptick uh, in their auto theft rates. Why is that? Because those, it is believed the organized criminal groups that were operating in Ontario and Quebec, more spotlight put on them there. Mm. They've moved some of the people who know how to st steal vehicles into Atlantic Canada. Brian Gast, who is with the Equité Association, the vice president of investigative service, they put out this report and he is speaking about it today. They all have the vulnerability of the push to start. Uh, again, when we look at Ontario and Quebec, uh, there's a high population, a high number of these targeted vehicles, and these vehicles are being targeted uh, for, for theft and their proximity to the Port of Montreal. Uh, three things that uh, put Ontario and Quebec in a, in a bad position. Yeah, absolutely a bad position, but we talk about exports. That is still happening, but the thieves have got more avenues now they're selling more of them in this country to suspecting or unsuspecting buyers mm. chop shop still a thing and crime cars look in the city of toronto where we are today you know yesterday a ttc bus rammed by a, a stolen vehicle stolen going vehicle. through a red light yeah. gunfight on the streets the criminals inside a stolen vehicle mm. cop shot in this city the person who was inside that vehicle uh, came out of a vehicle, stolen vehicle. So it gives you a sense that it is being used in pursuit of crimes much more often. It all comes back together. Thanks very much for this, David Common.